Welcome to the Dad Bod. I told you, big changes are coming for this channel and they're here. I released a video a few days ago that was six months in the making where I compared 13 different men's pouch underwear. Today, we have Wrist Mafia versus Watch Gang. We're going to unbox and compare the Watch Gang's original tier watch to the Wrist Mafia's monthly watch to see which one is better for the lower price watch subscriptions. When we're done, I'll tell you which one I like better, but in the end, what really matters is which one is best for you, your taste in watches, your preference in quality, size, style, and everything else. I really hate it when somebody tells me what I should like just because they like it. No, just show me what it is and I'll decide for myself if it's right for me or not. So let's get right to it. By the way, have you ever wondered why when ducks fly in a V formation, one side is usually longer than the other? Well, it's because that side has more ducks. Anyways, here's the package that I got from Wrist Mafia, and here's the package that I got from Watch Gang. Wrist Mafia has on their website that you're gonna get a shipment confirmation between the first and the fifth, but it seems that Wrist Mafia gets about a week later each month, so much so that they actually skipped a month earlier this year, which put them on time the following month, but then it was, you know, second week, third week, and now again, they didn't send the shipment confirmation until the 22nd. And they didn't actually ship it until the 24th, about three weeks late. It's not a huge deal. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but it just goes to show poor attention to detail and a failure to meet their own requirements. Because they arrived late, I'm gonna open up the Watch Gang one first. Now, Watch Gang's a little bit more expensive than Wrist Mafia. Watch Gang is $49 per month plus shipping and tax, where Wrist Mafia is $29 per month plus shipping and tax. So Watch Gang's watches are probably going to be better quality, but the purpose of this video is for those of you who are trying to find out just what to expect. You know, is the Wrist Mafia $29 watches worth it for me? Is it more worth it to spend a little bit more and get a little bit more higher quality? And in the end, that's for you to decide, and I hope this video helps. So Watch Gang seems to be pretty open about the fact that their price is $49 plus shipping and tax, whereas Wrist Mafia is all over Instagram touting that their watches are only $29, and then they kind of hide the shipping and taxes. So just know that it's $29 plus shipping and tax. Now, I'm not saying that to sway you one way or the other, it's just so that way you can properly compare the two. So, watch gang package. Let's open it up. Inside, we have a box. It doesn't say anything. So, we have a tin. Giordano. I'm not familiar with this brand, but there are many brands that I'm not familiar with, so let's keep going. Well, that's pretty nice looking. All right, I'm gonna see what information I can find on this watch, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is their GD 1168-88 model. It has a stainless steel case with a burgundy dial. On the primary dial, it's got the hour and minute hands. I'm not sure, but it might be luminescent to help you see in the dark. It has the second hand on its own dial just above the six o'clock position. The watch strap is also stainless steel with a folded buckle and clasp in the back. The watch has a Japanese quartz movement piece and the case is five ATM water resistant, which is good for 50 meters. Japanese movements are pretty good. Not as good as Swiss, but a thousand times better than the cheap Chinese movements. There's a card that comes with the watch and it gives it a one-year international warranty. You'll get a kick out of this. It does not cover the glass crystal, it does not cover the bracelet or the strap, it does not cover water damage, and it doesn't cover scratches. So basically, it just covers the internal mechanism for manufacturer's defects and nothing else. Okay, so now let's see what we received from Wrist Mafia. The box says it's a Mason Maestro Dive Master 1, model MWDM1-S1. Oh yeah, this looks pretty nice too. Oh, it doesn't feel so nice. It, it, it should have a bit more weight to it. It's rather light for a stainless steel dive watch. Okay, I'll be right back and let's see what I can find out on this one. I found the company's website. They have information for their Divemaster 2 watches, which are twice the price of the Divemaster 1 watches, 
but there isn't any information for the Dive Master 1 watch, which is what this is. The case itself feels like stainless steel. It has a black dial, has a chrome hour and minute hands, and if you look closely, you can see that it also has a second hand, but it's the same color as the dial, so it's very hard to see. It is a dive watch, so it's got a rotating bezel. The strap clasp itself says stainless steel, but the strap feels rather light. It almost broke when I was tearing the plastic off of it. It's heavier than the cheap alloy that some watch straps are made of, but it's not as heavy or durable as normal stainless steel straps. Maybe it's a mix of both, maybe it's just thin stainless steel, or maybe I'm wrong, who knows. It says hand assembled, authentic Italian design, artisan crafted, premium quality, stainless steel case back, and water resistant. It seems rather difficult to call it a dive watch when it's only water resistant. Since there's no information on the website about what's inside, we're going to have to pop this open and see for ourselves. Here you can see it's a PC21S movement piece, which is a cheap Hattori movement piece for out of Singapore. These usually run about two to three dollars, so I'm not sure how well this is going to hold the time. I am going to wear them both for a day or two just to, you know, see how they feel throughout the day and then I'll come back and finish recording this video and I'll let you know the verdict. So don't go anywhere, for you it'll be just a second. Okay, so there you have it. The June Watch Gang Original Tier Watch and the June Wrist Mafia Watch. Let me know in the comments which one you feel is better. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to click that like button. I've left a link in the description for 50 free points for Watch Gang, which you can use towards getting a free watch from their Wheel of Watch Spins. Wrist Mafia doesn't offer any discount links, which is why I'm not able to put one in there, but I will have a link to Wrist Mafia's website if you decide that they're a better fit for you. Me, personally, I do feel like the Watch Gang watch is better quality. It's not heavy, but it feels better on my wrist. It doesn't feel as light and fragile as the Wrist Mafia watch does. The Wrist Mafia watch just, like I said, it feels fragile. I'm worried I'm going to break it just from moving my wrist. Both watches look very nice, but this Watch Gang watch does feel a lot better on my wrist. Also, because it has a higher quality movement piece, I shouldn't have to fix the time as often. Usually the Chinese movement pieces require you to fix the time every couple of days, whereas the Japanese movement pieces are more like every couple of weeks. I can tell you in the last two days, I haven't had to fix the uh, time on these, and it's only a few seconds difference between the two of them. So I will be doing more versus watch subscription videos for June. I have one more. It's going to be the $100 per month Watch Gang Black Tier versus the Watch of the Month Club's $100 per month discount plan. That should be out next week, I believe. In the meantime, check out this video right here to learn about the Watch Gang Wheel Spin, how it works, and to see if I want a Grail watch. And I'll see you there.